Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Come on, Morty. Sony Computer yes. Entertainment America presents... A Universal Interactive Studios production. A game created and developed by Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. This is the greatest intro. This is like such an epic intro for their last Crash game. Crash Bandicoot War. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, that logo. Crash Bandicoot Warped. So this is the 100% ending, essentially. You shoot uh, the space station, and then kablamzo. And the spirit of Uka Uka. I love how it's still Mr. Krabs, but evil now. Like, even eviler than Cortex. Uka Uka is free. No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. I love how the house looks a lot like Jack and Dexter houses from Jack 1. There's Tropy and Tropy in the background. Great Uka Uka, it was that infernal. Bandicoot! From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems. You lost the crystals. And I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks and failed. But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way for us to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time the great Uka Uka Oh, they do show him right away. That you do it right. That's crazy. After many eons, my evil twin Uka Uka has been freed from his underground prison. This is a unique song. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Here we go. Children. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Yeah! We're going in. I am so excited. There it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it feels the exact same as Crash 2, which is great. All right. So we're just, again, we're going to go right in the row here. We're not skipping around for immediate nostalgia on this. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Crash, crash, crash. I love this voice actor. I think his name's Clancy or something. I forget his full name, but um, he is just epic. Whoa. Oh, so it's more floaty. If you guys haven't noticed, I should keep doing that. Okay, so that'll that'll take some getting used to. It's not um, it's not like Crash Two and One where you insta stop. Now you kind of float, which is, boy, is that gonna be a little more difficult for me? Cause I'm used to the pixel perfect stop. I don't know if that's just the emu emulator fucking up or not, but. 
Probably. I don't remember it like this. Fuck. Kapow. So yeah, here... I mean, this level's great and all, but they use it like three times. So it's kind of like Crash 2's problem. But again, I will give it the fact that it is a normal platforming level. Because they're... My main problem with the game is that they use the vehicle levels, the submarine levels, and the uh, jet ski ones so many times. And two of the Polar Express, but that doesn't really count. Or the, um, the Midnight Run and Orient Express. But at least we get the, uh, the box counts here on Crash 3. Plus that song. I like that the bonuses are now um, remixes of the Warp song. It's That's a really nice touch because I sometimes like a lot of the bonuses uh, almost better than their regular uh, Warp Room theme. There's the crystal already. Kablamzo. But I will give the game this much is that they really went to be out there. Because Crash 2 started to go out there. Ooh, nice. It started to go out there with the level design. I mean, the rocket power and the space ones. And even those two future ones that they have at the end. They really took that to heart and went like, since it's across time, we can literally do whatever we want, right? And that's what they did. Here we get the dance. Yes! I don't have too much to say right off the bat except for enjoy, because holy fuck, this game. This game right here. This is childhood. But yeah, it's like, this level will be fine. Except there's three of them, I think? I know there's at least two. But it's like, if you do that so many times with each of these different concepts, without making more regular platformers, then it kind of loses out on what Crash is, and that's a platformer. Like this, at this point, just becomes a box smasher kind of thing. And not Crash, which is like hardcore platform difficulty. But it's like, again, it has been there since the beginning. The, uh, stuff. Because, I mean, Hog Ride was there. It was one of, it's like, f the level four. But, um, my point is, like, you can't overuse it. Like, there was only two Hog Rides, I'm pretty sure. And one of them was a secret level. And, um, in Crash 2, there's the two Polar Bear ones. Um, and the two Rocket ones. The jetpack kind of ones. And it's like, yeah, the jetpack ones are fine because they're really difficult. The bear ones are fine because they really mix it up. I mean, it's hog ride, but like insanely fast. And they even do the one uh, where you're running away from the giant polar bear and you end up getting on your little polar. Um, that's really cool. But these are just full levels of that instead of mixing it up. And it's like, cool, they mix it up with this, but it's essentially the same thing, except night you get the secret boxes. And yes, I will spam, because why not? I want all the boxes if I can. But they did fix a lot of Crash 2, where it's like, no, you have to have the gem in order to get all the boxes, which I get kinda takes away some replay value. Whoops. Um, but it really doesn't to me because you got the time trials now instead of uh, looping back and forth, kind of, in order to just get the completion. Like, I feel like it's a lot less forced replayability. Okay, there's a box right there, too. I'm already at 69. We're at 70 now. 
76. There's probably 77 or 78. Ten boxes. That's all we got left. As long as I don't get touched here. Gotta get that one. Yeah. And you can't get three Akus while you're on this thing or in the water. Fuck. I missed it. I know there's one in the... Yep. You know what? Fuck it. It's right there. Oh, it kills him. Do I get... Semi-eaten, or does it go away? Fuck! I need to find a way to die. Speed! There's gotta be a mine up here, right? Something. Shit. Does it let me go back this far? It does. Sweet! Nailed it. There's death one on purpose. So far, so good. That's what I would always get hit by. The fucking mine. There we go. Okay. Spam all day. Nailed it. Oh, nailed it. Let's get these before we. There it is. Nailed it. It's like, if I can get the gem, might as well. It only took one life. It's, the under pressure ones are kind of my least favorite. I mean, I get it. But overall, it's like, it's not as fast and responsive as Crash is. And that's what I'm saying, too, is the vehicle ones are just not crashed. They also have the plane ones, too. Oh, yeah, these ones get a free pass, though, Orient Express, because it's hog ride. These ones are classic, but, I mean, the plane one, jet ski one, the underwater one, and then, I mean, the, the dinosaur ones are totally fine in my book, because they do it classic, too. Boulder run and... Boulder dash. Oh fuck. Oh, I got it. Okay. These ones are difficult too, but you can totally charge up this time. Crash 3 decided to make it even faster. We're gonna jump over. Hit the left, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that makes speed running amazing. Okay, we're gonna hit all four of those. We're gonna jump here. Jump here. Land on the thing. There's another checkpoint. Don't have to do it flawlessly. I, oh, fuck. Well, there we go. Don't have to do it flawlessly, remember? There we go. Nailed it. Okay. This one's pretty easy, though, to start off. Whoa! Okay. Nailed it. Yeah, this is just like the first hog ride of easiness. It's a wider space. It's like a wider alley. It's a lot more, uh, shit. Fuck. Good, there is a, there is a pit. Forgot I have to jump over that. Okay, go, go. It's a lot more like, uh, Polar Express and all that. I don't even remember what they're called from Crash 2. I just know Hang 8, and Eel Deal and stuff. That should be, yep, that's all of them. Again, this this game fixes a lot of problems where you can double down and just get the boxes right away too, for I think like 90% of the levels, if not all of them. Which is uh, my favorite thing about this game. It's like, why not double down? And unfortunately, she does not do the dance. Alright, so that was level 3. Let's move on to level 4. Boneyard!
We get to hear some more uh, great music. Uga Uga and Cortex want tiny get crystals and bring them to big Colosseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for tiny or crash get crushed! See, I like that they went with Tiny first. It's a great way to start off the game. Because Tiny has an amazing song. He's an amazing design. And, I mean, the boss fight itself isn't really Tiny Tiger. Because, whatever. But, I don't know. They did a great job of, like, mixing up the levels. Like, that. that's the Roman era of a, uh, a boss fight. And it's like, yeah, you're kind of swimming through time here at this point. Like, I was I was just during, like, the rise of China, the China, uh, Great Wall of China. And uh, I forget what the era is called, but uh, I was just in that era, and now I'm doing dinosaurs, so why not just go to Rome? I mean, there was medieval times as well. And some random underwater ones, but, you know, it goes all over the place. Whoa that moment that your phone goes off and it's totally unprofessional even though I put it to vibrate and it does it anyway how crazy is that it's almost like it's a bug and that was loud too all right but yeah this stuff I like the winding roads and all that and crash Ooh, I did it Oh, there is a gem here, though. So, as I said, probably about 90% shit. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, that was only four. I never really used the, uh... Slide spin much, because I was never really coordinated back in the day to actually do circle square in that fashion. So, here we get the bonus level. And it's Dino Mighty. Yeah, this this floatiness is a little bit off when I go for those. And I know some bonus levels are really difficult. Can I jump that? No. Nope. Shit. There we go. Yeah. That was awesome. There we go. 14 out of 14. That's how you do it. Alright. Oh, those guys are always so intimidating. You know what, let's take a look first. Okay, so it is safe. Because I know in this one they really... Fuck. They really go for um, screwing you over by hitting exclamations too early. Might as well do this. Make it look cool. Alright. Oh! <laughs> My body... S I slid jump and body slam. How did that work? Maybe I fell enough distance? Either way, that was awesome. And I landed on the checkpoint. Okay, so this one I definitely gotta get all the box. Wait, no. Because I got the red jump. There's eight. Okay, so there's one. So we get, we're down to seven boxes. Okay, six. Five, four, three. Two. Oh! Oh! Yes! Nailed it. That was awesome. Nailed it. Very last second, too, by the way. See, and there's the gem route. So it's like, yeah, they made it so you can get all the boxes, and there's the difficulty. They made them separate. So that's awesome. Alright, level 5, level 5. And here's a jet ski one. So we've had... One, two, two normal levels out of the five. And this, that's the thing I was talking about, where it's like... Yeah, if there was 50 levels, absolutely, but there's only 25, I'm pretty sure. So if it's only 40% crash classic, then kind of, you know, like Hog Drive was 2 out of 25, or 26, or, you know, 
So I was like, yeah, it was only 10%. This is like 60%. Well, I know it gets a little bit lower, so probably about half though. Still. It's a big increase. However, the levels themselves and the music, I mean, they're good, so I can't complain too much. It's just my desire for more Crash. And uh, I know there are a lot of levels for Crash 1 and, and other levels for other games that just, fuck, that just didn't get used. Originally, they got cut. I don't know if it was for time. I mean, these games, Crash 1 came out, and then a year later, Crash 2, and then a year later, Crash 3. So they weren't... Uh, doing this at their leisure for two or three years. This was immediate production. And that being said, the remasters guys said that they didn't have a word of comment, but someone asked them, what, what questions do you kind of get the most, guys? And he said, a lot of people ask about the unused levels. And he's like, oh, I didn't even know that there were unused levels. Are those going to be in the game? And, he's, and uh, the dev guy just went, I don't know. So I'm really excited to see what Vicarious Visions can do with something that was unfinished. Or, you know, never really seen with the public before, because the regular game looks amazing. So we'll see what they can do on their own. I'm sure it'll be great. I'm actually in high hopes for new Crash content instead of uh, the regular ones that are just being redone. I want to see more now. Because they've proven their worth. They're they're fucking amazing. They know what they're doing. So now it's now it's time. We need Crash Team Racing remastered, and then we need a, just a new Crash game, and then something like Crash Bash remastered. But I wouldn't go too much more into the remastering after the PS1. I wouldn't at all, actually. Crash Bash mainly just because I want another uh, Mario Party like game, and I also want it to be online. Crash Team Racing is amazing on its own, it's got four player split screen and so does Crash Bash, but it's like, now in the days of online, just bring it. Bring it. Do those two together, even though Naughty Dog didn't make Crash Bash. How can I not get this shit? Fuck! I'm having so much difficulty, I think I gotta just speed out the gates here. Speed out the gates here. Fuck. Fuck yeah! 35 out of 30. Oh, there they are. See, good thing I spent all that time because I got the gem anyway. Nailed it. And yeah, it does that weird blue shit. Or the weird other blue shit. But that's just the emulator. So I do apologize. I don't even know if it captures. And yeah, I'm going to wait on the time trials. I mean, I might do a a post episode where I just do the time trials and just post whatever run I get because I'm I'm interested to see what I can do kind of first shot idea